You guys, you know what was fantastic was the temperatures yesterday, 60 degrees. Finally, above our average temperatures, where we should be for this time of year, feeling fantastic. Look at all these 60s into Oshkosh, Shawano, everybody except for Appleton and Sturgeon Bay. So you're a few degrees cooler. It's okay. You felt the same thing. All right, temperatures this morning, very different than yesterday morning. You probably could have left without a jacket. Not now. We're about 10 to 20 degrees cooler because of this high pressure system that gave us the sunshine. That's giving us the sunshine right now. Well, it took the clouds away, and those are our blankets for overnight hours. So we fell down to near that freezing mark of 34 degrees right now. Look at the 50s, though, building to the south. Also, the humidity building to the south. That all is going to be some fuel as it pushes up towards us throughout this afternoon as gusts pick up to about 30 to 35 miles per hour. It's going to be a very windy afternoon and evening once again and more clouds pushing in. So get out and soak up the sunshine now. It rose at 614. Beautiful sights out at Appleton as well. 37 degrees this morning. So. Crisp and cool, especially into the Northwoods. Not too bad into Door County and along the lakeshore. And Oshkosh are sitting at 38 degrees right now. So there's those clear skies, but it won't hold on for very long. You can see the thicker clouds already starting to creep into western Wisconsin. There's that system, that low pressure building, and it's going to be headed our way. It's going to give us cloud cover by this afternoon, showers by this evening, and severe storm risks as we go through the overnight hours. We're in a marginal risk for them to turn severe, and that means we could see strong wind gusts and also some large damaging hail as well. So here's what's going to be happening. Like I mentioned, cloudy by your lunch, nice and mild and warm though into those upper 50s to low 60s. There's those showers arriving after 6 p.m. now and we're going to see them fill in overnight. Now strong to severe storms, mainly from Stevens Point through Antigo into Pembine as well is where I think they're going to line up, but that could shift down to the south as well. So we all just need to be ready for that. So of course, by tomorrow morning, this is how much rain we're going to be picking up throughout the day. Tomorrow we still have more showers to go through throughout the day on and off. Notice temperatures spiking to the low 70s tomorrow. It's going to be nice and warm, humid and wet. Unfortunately, a wild weather Wednesday here for us as we are in a slight risk to a marginal risk. So it increases that severe weather chance, especially down into Winnebago, Fond du Lac, Calumet, Sheboygan and Manitowoc counties. This is tomorrow. Large hail, damaging winds up to about 60 miles per hour are possible. Tree damage, power outages, all of that. So you can see the percentage about 15% into that yellow area for that hail and strong winds plus flooding potential. Look at how much rain by the time 48 hours is said and done. The Wolf River already at a river flood warning currently, so that'll be continuing to rise as we go through this week. So highs today rising nicely. We like this into those upper 50s to low 60s. We hold steady and mild tonight. Look at that overnight lows into the 40s to low 50s. Showers and storms, a wet kind of wild Wednesday here for us as we climb to near 70 degrees. But after that, we drop cold once again below average into those low to mid 40s for the rest of the week into the weekend and even into next week as well. Easter weekend looking pretty quiet, partly sunny skies, but we are tracking a system that wants to creep in Sunday night to Monday. Hopefully that holds off, but it's a little ways away. We are hoping that holds up. Yes. Brittany, thank you. You're Still